Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mehek, the healthy girl BFF, the uncurated health maniac here on YouTube. So I wanted to talk about the four reasons why you're not seeing results in your fitness journey, whether that's weight gain, weight loss, gaining muscle, losing fat. So let's talk about why you're not seeing results. So the number one reason is lack of accountability. So a lot of people don't have the self-drive, ambition, and motivation to keep themselves accountable and consistent on their goals. And on top of that, maybe they might have a trainer and they don't have an adequate trainer that could keep them accountable, that checks in with them, ask them how they're feeling, ask them if they have any injuries, if they're feeling pain. They don't really look at the threshold of the person's athletic ability and how hard they could push themselves into getting to and reaching their fitness goals. So lack of accountability is the number one reason. The number two reason is people's diets. And a lot of people, they're so focused on the exercise portion of their fitness journey that they don't really know about what diet they should do. They just YOLO diet, they eat whatever is in their face, they watch TV, they do these sedentary activities and their brain goes on autopilot and they find themselves just munching on chips, munching on biscuits and cookies. And that mind-numbing eating, that binge eating, just causes you to just eat so many calories and people aren't realizing they're overeating and they're just like, oh no, I barely ate or I only had two meals today, like what's going on? But it's like that little snacking that you do throughout the day that's messing up your goals and we need to stay on top of it. A lot of people also make poor choices as to what they're eating. For example, here in the United States, people will have a bagel or an English muffin for breakfast and neither of these, these are healthy choices. You should be eating eggs, chicken, turkey, plenty of lean proteins, even lean grass-fed beef would be not a bad option to have for breakfast. So a lot of people aren't making those wise choices as to what they're eating. They're filling their bodies up with all these refined carbs, these breads and white pastas which are like not good for you so aside from food the third reason is their exercise program itself so a lot of people just don't have a fitness goal they're working towards they don't have a specific goal in mind that they're trying to reach so people would be like okay i want to lose 30 pounds in a span of six months right but they wouldn't actually keep themselves accountable to do those exercises or they wouldn't have a consistent workout plan like they would put on a random video on youtube or occasionally hire a trainer to do several sessions but they wouldn't be consistent in their program and i think it takes at the minimum four to twelve weeks to actually see results in your program and people aren't consistent they do it for one week they do it for two weeks and they're just like oh man i'm not seeing results and they just give up so inadequate programming of exercises and lack of following through through training that lack of consistency is a huge reason and there is a lot of programs out there now with the internet there's like so many programs out there for people but a lot of people don't realize that not all programs are made for you like it's not a one size fits all thing and for some person like a split workout might work for them for another person a full body workout two to three times a week where it might work better with their schedule if they're struggling with time management and that comes to my last point time management is a big issue because if you can't manage your time you're gonna end up not eating healthy meals like people who under eat and then start binge eating i think a lot of that stems from not being able to manage your time and meal prep so people need to get into meal prepping and they need to get into managing how many times a week they want to work out so if you're doing a full body split program that takes five days of your week, especially as a beginner, it's probably not gonna play out well. Statistically speaking, it's just not gonna play out well because you're gonna be so exhausted, so tired because your body isn't having enough time with five sessions to recover in between the time and you're not gonna be consistent. So I think for beginners, two to three workout session, full body workout session, it's ideal. And you don't need more than that because the most muscle growth happens when you're taking rest so those are the top four reasons why people 
I think are just not seeing results. So first is lack of accountability. Second is lack of proper nutrition and meal timing and meal planning. Third is inadequate workouts and programming and just not following through with their exercise programs and not being consistent. And then the fourth reason is time management, which also goes hand in hand with consistency because if you have good time management skills, you'll be able to be consistent throughout the four to 12 weeks of your new program that you're in. It's important after a certain amount of time, like let's say about four to 12 weeks that you change up your program as well because your body does adapt to exercises you do. So to make those exercises that you're doing challenging and more harder and pushing yourself more and more by those months to really reach your goal and your full potential. Thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful and I hope you get your fitness goals completed before 2024 ends.